Hello friends, thanks for reading along with us today. Let's get started. A bubbly buzz swept through Coral Cove. It was Friendsgiving, the best celebration of the year. Down in the deep blue sea, friends of all shapes and sizes were ready to share food, fun, and gratitude. Unlike other holidays, Friendsgiving was not about family. It was about the friends who made life special. And in Coral Cove, everyone is family. This year, Octavia the Octopus hosted a big event in her cozy sea grotto. She spun around excitedly, announcing, Bring your tastiest dish and your happiest heart. Her bubble mail invitation had read, and now the ocean was alive with excitement as her friends swam in, one by one. Let the feast begin. First to arrive was Sammy the seahorse, with a basket of seaweed spaghetti. <laughs> it's my grandma's recipe, Sammy said proudly. The green noodles sparkled with tiny pearls of sea salt, making everyone's mouths water. Next came Benny the blowfish, puffed up with pride as he carried a platter of kelp rolls, stuffed with crab and shrimp. Careful not to poke yourself! Benny joked, his spines wobbling as he laughed. Shelly the sea turtle paddled in, carrying a slow-cooked coral casserole. It's been simmering all day in a warm volcanic vent, she explained, setting down the fragrant dish. The soft coral pieces glistened like jewels. Daphne the dolphin flipped in with a tray of starfish-shaped cookies. I made them with crushed seashells for extra crunch, she squeaked. The cookies smelled sweet with a hint of ocean breeze. Then came Marla the manta ray, gliding gracefully while balancing a tower of jellyfish jelly sandwiches. They're wobbly but delicious, Marla said, giggling as the sandwiches jiggled. Finally, Carlos the crab scuttled in, waving his claws and holding a giant clamshell filled with sea foam pudding. Don't forget the whipped algae topping, he said pointing to the fluffy green garnish. When all the food was laid out, Octavia clapped her eight arms together. Thank you all for coming and for bringing such amazing dishes. Before we dig in, let's take a moment to say what we're thankful for. Each friend took turns sharing. Sammy was thankful for his grandma's recipes and warm memories. Benny was grateful for his spines, which always kept him safe. Shelly appreciated the kindness of friends, who helped her swim against strong currents. Daphne was thankful for the laughter that brightened her days. Marla cherished the beauty of the ocean she called home. And Carlos? He was just thankful he did not drop the pudding. Octavia smiled as she spoke last. I'm thankful for all of you. You make my life brighter and my heart fuller. Let the feast begin. Everyone piled their plates with a little bit of everything. They slurped the seaweed spaghetti, crunched the starfish cookies, and savored the sea foam pudding until their bellies were full. As the evening wound down, the friends rested in a cozy circle, happy and content. Friendsgiving was not just about the food, it was about being surrounded by those who made life sweet. At that moment, every sea creature knew just how lucky they were. Thanks for reading along with us today. We hope you enjoyed the book. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more magical stories. See you tomorrow. Down in Coral Cove, where the waters gleam, Friends gather around like a family dream Octavia's Grotto, the warmest place to be For friends giving joy under the sea Sammy brings spaghetti with pearls of salt so bright Benny's kelp rolls shimmer in the ocean light Shelly's coral casserole 
cooked with such care It's a feast of love we're ready to share Friends giving under the sea Where the waves dance with harmony We're thankful for laughter, love and light Together we shine so bright tonight Flips in with cookie shape like stars Marla's jelly sandwiches wobble from afar Carlos the crab with pudding so sweet Every friend's dish makes the feast complete